This is Eberly Cote de Roble, red blend from Paso Robles, 2014. Obviously, that's a play on the uh, name Cote du Rhone. And that's because this wine is a blend of Rhone varietals grown in the warm climes of Paso Robles. Um, Eberly's a winery that's considered to be a pioneer in that region. They released their first wine back in 1979, um, producing lots of good wines ever since. And one of the first to start planting uh, the Rhone varietals in that area. Um, obviously seeing how that warm climate but with the cooling aspects uh, of the altitude and some of the uh, areas where those ocean breezes get through, um, making it a really uh, good spot, good microclimate for Rhone varietals. So this is a blend of uh, Morvedra, 39%, Grenache, 31%, Syrah, 21%, and then it says here, 9% Durif. Now, of course, Durif is the French name for Petite Serra, <laughs> which we're all more familiar with, right? Um, but that's a good, a good collection of these Rome varietals, each with a little bit of a different character, different quality to it. They vinify everything separately. They put together their blend. It's aged in 20% new French oak for 16 months. Hmm. It's got a really nice perfume on the nose. I get some violets and I get a little bit of like a marzipan, some plums. It's real pretty. Let's try it. Wow, this is a really big mouth-filling, rich red. Um, not too many Cote de Rhones <laughs> that are going to deliver um, sort of bold intensity that this wine has. Uh, <clears throat> lots of those nice perfumed fruit flavors like plums, cherries, getting chocolate. I'm getting that, that sort of almond paste sort of kind of sweet character. Um, obviously not sweet finishing, very dry, but a nice character on the palate. And uh, a little bit of minerality, a little smokiness. It's got a good backbone. Seems to me this wine would age nicely over the next three, four years. Um, and it's got lots of stuff in it. Very tasty. Happy drinking.